Space Grunts explains itself easily as a turn-based action game. Everything in the world moves as if you were playing a classic RPG, but each prompt is based on your actions, essentially turning you into the pause screen. The pixel-style indie graphics give it a modern retro feel, and the game features a huge array of items, weapons, enemies, obstacles, and secrets. You'll progress through an unknown but large number of levels, and when you die, it's game over. No saving and restarting from your previous checkpoint here. As you play a sci-fi action story involving research gone wrong plays out, and the game does have an end fight with an end boss, not that I have been anywhere near it. Space Grunts is hard, but not overly difficult, and getting through the levels involves careful weapon selection, successful navigation through the rooms, using your items to full advantage, and keeping an eye on your ammo. You can recycle unwanted items periodically and turn them into ammo, and there's some kind of door card system I wasn't able to discover the solution to. There are three classes to choose from, and each class has an alternate costume, presumably unlocked by completing the game with that class. The classes offer a mix of strength, item effectiveness, and ability to find items, and all three classes seemed fun. The game's turn-based action conceit is unusual, but playing Space Grunts felt largely familiar. I found myself frequently camping at room entrances to minimize threat and saving my frag bombs to help initially clear rooms. There's a lot more for me to explore, and so far I've only progressed maybe a third of the way through the game. The VCS version of Space Grunts doesn't have leaderboards, unlike other versions of the game. The game only supports the modern controller, and the classic is not supported. Space Grunts was originally released in late 2015, so there's been plenty of time to work out game bugs, and the game runs great on the VCS. Space Grunts 2 was released in 2019, and replaces the turn-based action with a card battling mechanic that appears to have been somewhat less positively received by players on PC. The mashup of RPG turn mechanics with real-time action doesn't clash, although I'd imagine a card mechanic might, and playing Space Grunts feels both exciting and strategic. The mechanic behind Space Grunts is ultimately what makes the game interesting and compelling, although the story and presentation isn't bad. Orange Pixel released the game Meganoid in August on the VCS, and the one-person studio's developer has stated his plan to release up to eight games on the VCS in the future. Orange Pixel has released literally dozens of games since the mid-2000s, and is currently working on a non-violent survival adventure game for iOS, in addition to releasing their catalog on PC, Switch, and elsewhere. I don't think you have to have liked Meganoid in order to enjoy Space Grunts or vice versa, but the two do share a similar graphical style and presentation. Space Grunts is priced the same on Steam as on the VCS, although its mobile version is quite a bit less expensive. We don't really have a turn-based RPG on the VCS, so this is probably the closest thing to one at the moment. The game is a lot of fun, and a great way to kill a rainy fall afternoon. Thanks for watching. Liking helps get these videos in people's search results, and subscribing gets these videos in your feed. You can find dozens of other videos about VCS games and hardware on my channel, and thanks to everyone who's been supportive over the past almost two years. I'll have more videos in the future, including a look at the very exciting releases, Atari Mania and the Atari 50th Collection. Have fun!